Our social dancing is amazing. I'm going to make you fall in love with this dance, but I'm also going to make sure you have a really fun time tonight. I'm going to give you the whole rundown on like your New York experience, okay? So like, get ready. Hey guys, my name is Ray Mornoff and I'm based in New York City. I'm so excited to talk to you guys today about what it's like to dance in the US. So if you haven't been to the US before, um, our social dancing is amazing. Um, in my experience, I really love it. Um, I found out about it uh, in college when a friend of mine was like, hey, there's this uh, social dance thing off campus. Like, have you ever danced before? Do you wanna go? I think I need a dance partner. And I was like, ooh, okay, yeah, let's check it out. Um, and so we went and of course they're like, high five, switch uh, during the class. And I was like, oh my God, I'm terrified. But it was amazing. I fell in love with the music immediately. And this is coming from someone who had only danced a little bit as a child and I mostly was an athlete growing up. So for me, um, I found the, the dancing to be super accepting. Um, my, from my very first experience, um, there's so many different uh, people of different backgrounds, different cultures, different ages, and people just showing up in different walks of life. So some people might be working the whole day or they might be students or they might be retired and just wanna like learn a new skill, like learn how to connect with someone. So I think that's really special about our dance scene there. Um, I will say that of course there's people outside of the dance community, um, which I think's similar to other places that um, might not understand what what we're doing, right? And of course, with sensual bachata, they might say, ooh, that's like a little close, because um, that's what my ex-boyfriend said. But still, you know, uh, it's, for me, really an amazing way to express yourself, an amazing way to connect with different people. And, you know, that's why I personally love social dancing. Um, so I focus on central bachata, but in New York, I also love dancing zouk. I'm taking classes in mambo and traditional bachata. Started some contemporary, some heels. I want to be better at reggaeton. You know, there's, there's so many different options. Um, and there's also really cool fitness classes. So we see a lot of our dancers going out and like doing bar and hot yoga and Pilates and all these things, which is very common for us in New York. I think the common theme is like New York has a little bit of everything, right? And it's super true. So especially when I leave New York, I have this whole gratitude of like, wow, New York has so much to offer. So what it's like to dance in the US. For me, I've ended up focusing mostly on the East Coast, um, although there's dancing in every single state, uh, depending on what your city's like or how big dancing is in that specific state, you know, that's where you're gonna find most of your festivals, most of your dance schools or your weekly classes. So, you know, we have some hot spots in like um, New York and DC and Miami on the East Coast, other places too, of course. Um, we have a festival coming up in Philadelphia. Woo, so excited. And Houston is gonna be a really big one. Um, in just a few months, uh, you know, and then I love going over to the West Coast. So if anyone from the West Coast is listening, I wanna come back soon. So um, wherever you go in the US, it's an incredible experience. Um, I do find that a lot of the communities, if you just ask around, you know, there's something going on everywhere. So let people know when you're coming, um, we can connect you to our friends in all these different states. and. A lot of the times we like to travel together, right? So we'll either book a bus or a flight or you can grab a ride with a friend and go check out these different festivals together. In the US, we also really like to travel internationally. So we like to plan for that, but it's a fun thing to do with your friends. Um, as far as weekly classes go, what that looks like is for us, I mean, in New York City, you have something going on pretty much every night of the week. I think the only night that there's not necessarily a social, but there might be once in a while, it's like a Monday, because Mondays are like, everyone's tired on a Monday. Um, but there's classes every night of the week. Um, what's special about New York City, at least, is that 
if, even if you're not a part of a dance school, you can end up like booking a room in a studio and promoting yourself. Like, so that's something I like to do is I'll do like a series or a pop-up workshop, um, plan it a few weeks in advance, you know, like book your room, uh, get it out there into the, into the universe on Instagram, tell your friends to come and you can end up like gathering your students this way. You also have a lot of amazing dance schools and, um, opportunities to sign up for memberships for different classes. Uh, and also a lot of our socials, we have a great pre-social class to that, right? Um, something that we've heard about in it, or I guess in other countries is like, what level do you have to be to start dancing? And for me, I think it's incredibly welcoming because you can show up and have not danced before and your teachers should be kind of reading that level to say, okay, I'm gonna make you fall in love with this dance, but I'm also gonna make sure you have a really fun time tonight. So as we can imagine with like US culture, I think that we're more of like a party party atmosphere than other countries. And so we do like to have a good time. Um, you know, we do, you don't have to like show up and go to a bar and do all the things. Like you just come as you are and, and present yourself as you are and connect with people and just enjoy the vibe, right? It's all about like the music, the energy, having a good time. Um, I think U.S. culture is maybe a little bit more loud and proud, so we love to cheer each other on. We love to hype each other up. You know, we love to get late night food. So after socials, we, we love getting pizza. You know, we love hanging out and just doing the thing. Um, I don't think that socials really go as, as late as they do in other countries. For us, things like kind of close down around two, but in New York City, we're gonna go get pizza, we're gonna get some halal, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna do it again the next night. So um, that's my experience, and I think like the US is very vibrant in that way. Um, and you know, I also like taking online classes, which is why we're here, so definitely, sign up. We are going to announce some amazing promos. And if you are in New York City and you're wondering where you want to go dance, or if you're planning a trip to the U.S. and you want to hit me up and be like, hey, Ray, what should I do? Where should I go? Right. Um, I'm not only going to tell you where to go dance, but like I'm going to tell you where you need to go eat, you know, where you should go thrifting. I'm going to give you the whole rundown on like your New York experience. OK, so like get ready. Um, you'll have a great time and I will see you soon. I hope that you enjoy this video. Um, I'm a part of the V-Dance Club and we are an online school with so many different amazing dance styles from incredible dance instructors from all over the world. Um, we hope that you'll sign up for classes with us. We have salsa, bachata, zouk, and so much more. We're continuing to add new amazing classes every week. Um, so definitely sign up with us. You can click this link below to join our community and we can't wait to dance with you. Thank you.